Hi, my name is Sandeep Jahar, and I want to welcome you to this week's virtual Walk with the Doc. Uh, as many of you know, David Sabger and his colleagues have been hosting physician-led uh, walks uh, for many years as a way to promote social connection uh, and exercise. And what they're doing is so important. Uh, one of the most uh, valuable things I've learned in my work as a cardiologist is how essential exercise and stress reduction are for our hearts. And with a brisk daily walk or jog, uh, you get both. Uh, my daily walk is really one of the things I most look forward to every day. You know, we talk a lot about resilience in medicine and outside medicine, dealing with the pandemic and all the upheaval. Well, for me, a walk gives me the resilience that I need uh, to do my daily work. And so I say kudos to David and his group, and uh, I hope you enjoy your walk today. Good morning, everyone. I'm Mona Dave. I'm a pediatric gastroenterologist with the Flower Mound, Texas Walk with a Doc. Today's medical topic is about smells. There's so many smells around us. Our ability to smell happens because of special sensory cells called olfactory cells, which are located in a patch of tissue up inside of our nose. Now, the way this works is Smells around us release molecules. These molecules trigger odor receptors, which then trigger a signal up into the brain, which is registered as a smell. Now there are so many different smells around us, many more smells than there are odor receptors. So these molecules can actually trigger a combination of odor receptors which then travels as a very particular sensation up into the brain and is registered as a very unique smell. Now this connection between the olfactory cells and to the brain happens in an area called the amygdala. The amygdala is responsible for emotions. That's why oftentimes particular smells can evoke this feeling of nostalgia or bring back memories. For example, Baked cookies can bring back memories of baking with your grandmother when you were younger. Or for me, I would spend my summers in India during the monsoon season having fun with my cousins. So every time I smell rain, it brings back fond memories of having fun in the summer. Now, besides smells being able to evoke memories, smells also have the ability to affect our body and our mind. Research has shown that particular smells can actually help with relaxation, with migraines, and with sleep. For example, the smell of lavender has been shown to help decrease blood pressure, reduce heart rate, and helps with insomnia. Now, I grew up in the 80s, and during that time, scratch and sniff stickers were extremely popular. I'm going to use some of these stickers to demonstrate some of these smells and what they do to our body. So in this first sticker here, this represents the smell of cinnamon. So cinnamon has actually been shown to sharpen the mind. Smelling cinnamon has been shown in research studies to improve um, your visual motor response, working memory, and concentration. Okay. Now, these two stickers here represent the orange and lemon smells. Both of these have been shown to increase your energy level. In this sticker here, this is vanilla. Vanilla has been shown in research studies to actually help with mood. It's been shown to elevate joy and bring about relaxation. The smell of apple has been shown in research studies to help with migraines. And this last sticker here, the smell of peppermint is my personal favorite. Peppermint has actually been shown to improve concentration ability, and it's been used as a study aid for students when they're taking tests. Now, I talked about one of the pathways that um, is responsible for smell, and that's through the olfactory cells. 
Well, there's another pathway that's actually through the roof of your throat. So when you put food in your mouth and you chew that food, it releases a smell. That smell then travels from the roof of your throat to the nose, the olfactory cells there, and then up into the brain. Now, when some people have a stuffed up nose, like they have a cold or they have allergies, they will oftentimes say that they cannot taste their food. It has no flavor or it tastes bland. Some people even go to the doctor thinking that they've lost their sense of taste when in fact, it's actually their smell that's been affected. Now, one really, really interesting fact is that 80% of taste is actually smell. Now, in this time of social distancing, I've continued to go on my walks. But one thing I do is I wear my mask. And the reason I wear the mask on the walks is sometimes there will be a bicyclist or a jogger or another walker that comes in close proximity. And you wanna keep yourself safe and keep others safe. So what I like to do is I like to take my sticker and put it inside my mask. So that way, when I'm wearing my mask and walking, it releases a really nice smell. Now you can use flavored chapstick or essential oils, whatever you'd like, but I'd highly encourage you to add it to your mask while walking. So now I'm gonna go on my walk. Thank you so much for listening. Bye.